Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you eight different ways to open the PowerShell console in Windows 10. Several of these techniques are time-saving productivity enhancements. I will also explain the difference between the PowerShell console and the PowerShell ISE. Let's begin. Method one, select the search icon on the Windows 10 taskbar by left-clicking it and typing PowerShell. Now there's several things to note here. The PowerShell Windows PowerShell app should be selected as it is here. Now you can either press enter, which is equivalent to selecting open, and that will simply run the Windows PowerShell console. But you also have the option to select run as administrator. And that simply means that when you select this option, all the commands you issue in the Windows PowerShell console will be executed with administrative privileges. Okay, so I'm just going to select open. In fact, I'm going to press enter, which is equivalent to selecting open. And there we have our PowerShell console. Great. Method two, press and hold the Win key and press OR. This will open up the Run dialog box and simply type PowerShell and press enter. And there we have it, our Windows PowerShell console. I'm going to do the exact same thing again, press and hold the Win key and press OR. But this time I'm going to type PowerShell underscore ISE. Now, the PowerShell underscore ISE command runs the Windows PowerShell integrated scripting environment. And as you can see, it consists of two broad panes. On the bottom pane, we have our actual Windows PowerShell console. So we can issue our commands. So I'm going to type cd slash temp, for example, type dir. So we can run normal Windows commands. We can also run PowerShell commandlets. So I've just ran there the command get-help. But on the top half of the screen, we can see effectively a text editor. And here we can actually type our scripts. So I can type the command, for example, dir, and then I can select the green icon here to run, otherwise press F5. And as you can see, it ran the dir command here. And there's many options to debug, to step through, step over, and so on. And we have a help window on the right-hand side here, which allows us to search for commands and filter them. It's a really nice, simple IDE, effectively, Integrated Development Environment, or as Windows calls it, an integrated scripting environment for the Windows PowerShell console. OK, that's all I wish to say about that at the moment. The third method is simply to right-click over the Start menu icon and select Windows PowerShell. That's it, it comes up. Now, if you happen to right click over the Windows Start button and you don't see Windows PowerShell but see Windows Command Prompt, the way to replace that with Windows PowerShell is to select Settings, as I'm doing here, then select Personalization, then select the taskbar, and then you see the option here, replace command prompt with Windows PowerShell in the menu when I right click on the start button or press Win key plus X. So as you can see, I've enabled that option. And as a result, Windows PowerShell appears in the menu. The fourth method is simply to navigate the start menu. So you select the start menu, left click it, and then simply scroll down pretty much to the very end and you will see the Windows PowerShell menu option and simply select on it to expand it. And then we can run Windows PowerShell or indeed Windows PowerShell integrated scripting environments. And there you go. The fifth method is that we can actually run the PowerShell console from within a Windows command prompt. So within the Windows command prompt, I'm simply going to type PowerShell and hit enter. And as you can see, the the prompt has changed and is now prefixed with the words PS to indicate that now this is now a PowerShell prompt as opposed to a Windows command prompt. Notice the background is not blue, so that may confuse you. So to exit from the PowerShell console and return to the Windows command prompt, simply type exit. And there we go. And then the exit command prompt, simply type exit. OK. The remaining three methods involve using the Windows File Explorer and there are very much time-saving productivity enhancements. Method six, run the Windows File Explorer. Now, as you can see, I've navigated to my C colon backslash temp folder. So to quickly run the PowerShell console from this folder, select within the location bar anywhere to the right of the text 
and by doing so it'll highlight the text and then type PowerShell and hit enter. And as you can see, it has run the Power Windows PowerShell console and it has set the default directory to be C colon backslash temp, the folder that I navigated to within Windows File Explorer. That's very nice. Now, I've only been one folder deep. If I was several folders deep, that would be a time saving productivity hack. Method seven from within File Explorer, press and hold left shift, then right click over this folder you wish to run the PowerShell console within, and then select open PowerShell window here. And there we go. Notice I wasn't inside the level two folder, but I right clicked over it while holding left shift and it opened up the Windows PowerShell console within that folder. It was absolutely necessary that I hold down the left shift key before right clicking over that folder. Just be aware of that. Finally, the eighth and last method, again from within Windows 10 File Explorer, ensure that you have a directory selected. So I've selected a level two folder inside C colon backslash temp. Then simply from the menu bar, select file and open Windows PowerShell. And you have two options, open Windows PowerShell as a normal user, as an administrative user. So I'm simply going to select the option to the left, which will run Windows PowerShell as a normal user inside that folder. Because you watched the video to the end, as a bonus, I'm going to show you another two methods to run the PowerShell console. Method nine, simply run the task manager. And a quick way to do that is control shift escape, and then select from the menu bar, file, run new task, and of course type PowerShell or indeed PowerShell underscore IC, press enter, and you have your console. The second bonus and tenth method is perhaps the quickest method of all. Simply press Win key in X and select Windows PowerShell. <laughs> That's it. So I did that very quickly. Once again, Win key in X, up comes the menu, and then select Windows PowerShell. Be aware that you may see Windows command prompt here. And this actually was explained to you when I illustrated method three. And the solution was explained at that time in how to display Windows PowerShell here. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you very much. Thank you.